So guys, today we're gonna be going over my September 2017 everyday carry. And we're actually gonna be doing it in the month of August, but it's not gonna change because it's already pretty close to September. So this is my September carry. And for this carry, and as always, before we get into this EDC update, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more EDC updates and outdoorsy gear content in Alaska. Anyways, guys, let's get rolling. So trying to find a system here, what I'm going to be starting off with is belt carry, then moving onward. So for my belt carry, I'm going to throw all the stuff that I carry on a normal everyday basis on my belt here, but I'm also going to be showing the belt itself since this has changed. So the belt has changed, and you guys, if you've been around the channel, you guys will probably notice or note that I have now a click belt, and this is primarily what I wear uh, day in, day out for the most part. I actually really love synthetic belts, and I really love Cobra belts, and the Cobra belt is just this buckle system is a Cobra buckle and this is a gun belt it's pretty thick as you guys can see this is a pretty rigid belt there's not much flex in it aside from like these two points here there's really no flex in this thing and uh, this is the primary belt that I'm using for carrying all the stuff that I carry on my belt so this is once again just a click belt this is a two millimeter duty belt I think you know what they call it in a slate gray coloration and really love this belt so that is the belt that I'm carrying for everyday carry. And the three things that I primarily carry on my belt, this is aside from any PSKs or when I'm doing outdoor stuff, that is different. And I may go over that in another video. But first thing is a, just a heavy duty general purpose survival defense knife. This one, as you guys are familiar with probably by now, is the Pull Force November 1. Or not November 1, Prepper 1. <laughs> And so pull force, prepper one, and of course running it scout style. And that is the first thing, just heavy duty survival knife. Next thing I'm running is the Surge, Leatherman Surge, just in its good old classic leather uh, sheath. And once again, just a Leatherman Surge. Love this thing, have always loved the Leatherman Surge, and really love the tool options it provides. So this one also runs scout style too. As you guys can tell, I'm a big fan of scout style and the sheath permits it. So I run this one scout style as well on my belt. Then lastly, and not in scout style, is just a Glock 21. This one is loaded in the magazine, but not loaded in the chamber for this video. Anyways, this one's still hot and I'm not taking it out of hot configuration for you guys. So just a Glock 21, once again, rocking it in the Serpa retention holster and no issues with this system at all really enjoy it it's a very nice system to carry so like i said now moving over to the neck there's not as much stuff being carried on the neck obviously i don't want to clutter my neck full of stuff but so the primary there's only two primary things i'm carrying and that is of course one defensive knife option and i should note that i'm not always carrying this belt knife most of the time I do, but I always have this neck knife as my knife defensive option because once again, there are some places that are not permissible for guns. And so I'm gonna have at least one defensive option, namely a neck knife on me at all times. And so that really helps for a defensive option in case I ever have to. For this neck knife, this is once again switched up a little bit. I went back to the SE3. I really enjoyed the SC3 a lot, and I've actually kind of missed it, so got it back, and I've been loving carrying it, because for me, I really love this thin, low-profile system to it, and they do make other SC3s now with round handles, if I can say that today. They do make round-handled versions of the SC3 now, and I like those versions more for just straight woods use and everyday use, but for defensive option, I really still love this flat hand handled slim blade SC3. It's a really great option for a defensive neck knife that just can lay flat and hidden on your chest. 
So next to that, I carried just a Exotac Nano Striker XL. I had been thinking a long time of how to really integrate a ferro rod into my everyday carry because I have a lighter, and I'll show it in a little bit, and I love my lighter, but the lighter can be prone to losing its charge. It can be prone to getting too wet to be operational and stuff like that. And while that's never happened to me yet, these are things that could definitely happen to the lighter and it would put it out of operation. So I wanted, especially now that we're going into more of a winter time, uh, this is certainly fall now, uh, I wanted another option, another solid option of being able to start fires. And I love my Exotac Nano Striker XL, so I started wearing it as a necklace. So those are my two necklaces, or the two things that dangle on my neck for everyday carry. So now on to wrist carry, just so everything I have on my wrists, which is not a whole lot. And so starting off, I have the Seiko SN, SNK803 here, and that's what this is. Sorry if it's hard to see in the glare of light, but just a tan SNK803 by Seiko. Really love this little watch, and once again, I've been enjoying having a smaller field watch as opposed to my larger Timex. Sierra, Expedition Sierra, <laughs> sorry. And then I have just two paracord bracelets and yeah, basically just two paracord bracelets, one to wear with the watch and the other to wear on my other wrist, just for survival and for primarily style. So that is what's on my wrist. So now getting into the bulk of my carry, which is pockets or what is in my pockets. So first thing, of course, large is the HTC One M9. Still love this phone. I put it back in its uh, OtterBox Defender because I actually really like the colors and really missed this thing. I wanted to put it back in there. And as far as the phone goes, I don't think I'm going to change it out. I might actually be getting a new HTC One M9 because this one's kind of dying, but I actually really, for the most part, love the HTC One M9 as a platform. So not sure. I might get another one of these like HTC One M9s, but if not, then it's just gonna stay the same one because I still like the system and it's very good. So next to that are, I'll just go over knives once again, good old Chris Reeves knives, Sabenza, in single grind, large Sabenza 21 in single grind. I think I've been carrying this every single month since I've got it. I don't know, but I really like this knife. I might be switching it up and I might not be carrying this next month. I'm not sure. I think, like I said, I've been carrying this like every month since I've got it, and this thing's like two years old, so I'm not sure. I might be switching it out. I'm not going to be replacing it, like selling it off, because I still think this is a phenomenal knife, but I might not be carrying it every day in the next few months. I'm not sure. I'm still kind of debating whether I want to uh, retire this one from everyday operations for like a few months or so. Not sure, but it is certainly in the EDC rotation this month, and it's a really great knife. Then next to it is paired the Benchmade 556 or the Mini Grip, and once again, we found this knife a few months ago after I lost it in the snow, and so I've been loving carrying this thing, and it's just such an awesome knife to have back in the collection that I'm so glad to have it. I love the tiny size of it just works really well and it's not a very uh, aggressive looking knife so it's very nice to carry every day pull it out cut open a box or something and yeah I just really love that knife for EDC and then next to that I'm also carrying a bandana for just blowing your nose using it as a sunshade whatever you need a bandana for tons of uses loving it and I've been trying to get into the habit of EDC bandanas more often or just some kind of cloth that you can use multi-purpose other than aside from that i'm also carrying a spare mag for the glock as i've been over in or as i went over in other edc videos just a spare mag for the glock fully loaded then a zippo lighter once again already mentioned that i'm carrying a zippo or a lighter at least and so carrying a zippo primarily i don't smoke so this is just for starting fires if i needed it but once again there are some issues with it as a survival tool but whenever I can in a survival situation, I will definitely take the Zippo because it has a flame and that flame is far easier to start fires with than using sparks. 
So next thing is a flashlight. I have changed it back over to the Anova T2 and this is just a full size flashlight. Once again, it's starting to go more into winter time now, certainly into fall. And so it is actually getting pitch black at night nowadays. So I upped the ante to the more powerful flashlight. I usually carry the XS, I believe it is, in the summer just because it's really tiny, really minimal and it provides enough light for if it does get dark and you do need to see something but upping the ante to the T2 and for winter time and this is going to be my carry for the rest of the winter until it starts getting light again so probably around like May is when this will be swapped back over to the XS but once again just running the T2 for the winter fall so now on to writing instruments once again, just the two writing instruments. I've had no need to replace these or change it up. Once again, just a Sharpie, standard black Sharpie for writing and permanent marker. And then next to that, a uh, Fisher Space pen. This is like the Cap-O-Matic pen. And really love those two. I've had no issues with either of them. So now winding this down, uh, my last three pieces of gear. Once again, the Recycled Firefighter Slim Wallet. Love this wallet and really always have. So still rocking it. Really great wallet. Very nice option for my carry. I carry a lot of cards and obviously not cash. So this works really well for my lifestyle. It doesn't work for everyone, but that's once again just my everyday carry and what I'm carrying. And then next to those two, or actually this is like in the change pocket or like watch pocket, whatever you want to call it, that really small pocket on the right side of the pants, that's where I generally carry these two, is just the Victorinox Classic SD. I've carried this thing for years, once again really love it. Uh, especially the scissors on it and then switch it up and am carrying some Burt's Bees this is actually the ultra conditioning kokum butter one so it's gray as opposed to any of the other colors and really love this one this one's like super super powerful so if you're looking for an awesome uh, chapstick this one the kokum butter one is definitely the way to go it's really awesome anyways guys that is my entire comprehensive EDC for September slash the very end of August but primarily just for September and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video once again I think I'm going to start rotating back to doing um, EDC videos once every other month so once again the next one will be in October or sorry the next one will be in November so we should have snow on the ground for that one <laughs> but the next one will be in November so that I think works best for me for my EDC videos. Anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and definitely let me know what you guys carry in the comment section below. And if you guys think I carry too many knives, just don't comment it at all. <laughs> I get some pretty hilarious comments with the amount of knives I carry, but I don't really care. Anyways, guys, that's all for now and I'm out.